Exactly. That I, happened to you. I kind of broke ground in the Grammy Awards. I really was did. only the third female entertainer to win a Grammy Award. You know, they didn't, they didn't even present Grammy Awards. <laughs> no. Didn't even uh, present them, yeah. Yeah. Well, I you know, in the beginning... You Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to ask you about your hometown. I don't want to leave that out oh, because yeah. you're really proud of that. And your hometown I am so proud. is Townville, Pennsylvania. Townville. Okay. Have we got some Pennsylvanians out here tonight. All right. Yeah, they uh, in commemoration along with my uh, silver anniversary at the Grand Ole Opry this year. I was honored by my home state tremendously. I got a, a citation from Governor Casey. I also Wait a minute, got... a citation? Does that mean you pay something? <laughs> no, not this time, oh, I okay. don't think. I might better check on that. <laughs> <laughs> but also um, proclamations from the House of Representatives, from the Senate, and uh, also the American Institute of Banking, which is really important to me because... Now you're talking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Banking. Well, I didn't get to go to college, and I felt terrible about that and so I went to work in a bank and uh, I found out about the American Institute of Banking so I went to night school and their college accredited courses and I have to say you know that those courses have helped me a lot handling my business through this career and now that they've made me an honorary member for lifetime maybe if this career quits see I can go back into banking I don't think so. it's quit. but most important the people in my hometown, and I want to thank Twyla Agents and uh, Lois Proper, two of the girls that I grew up with and went all through school with. They were kind of behind it, and also Mayor Hummer. And because of now, if you go to Townville, Pennsylvania, there's a sign that says, Home of Jeannie Seelig, star of the Grand Ole Opry. Did they, name, so uh, did they name a street after you? No, there's only one street. Oh. <laughs> That's got to be me. Although there is a road outside of town that's named Seely Road, but that was named after my dad. Okay, well, we'll let your dad keep that. Yeah, way. right. Great to have you here, Jeannie. Thank you. Are you from Titusville? I was born in Titusville, Pennsylvania, but I grew up in a, in a little town called Townville. Are they, are they going to have a day for you? Mm-hmm. They have made... Uh, July 17th, I think it is. It's going to be Jeannie Seeley Day. And it's during a week-long celebration that they've done, as long as I can remember, called Old Home Day. Is this going to be an annual thing? Mm -hmm. And I think this year we're probably going to use the time to get together and, and see if we can come up with a project that we can work on. You know, one of the cutest songs, and I guess you wrote it, that you ever did was a tune called Pencil Tucky. Farm in Pencil Tucky. And, uh, but I've forgotten your Kentucky connection. Pencil tucky is a, is a term up there, and most of the time when I was growing up, it wasn't used very flattering, <laughs> you know. It was like if you were from out in the, con in the country somewhere, you know, in some parts they say it's from the boondocks or it's yeah. podunk or whatever. Up there they'd say, oh, man, she's from Pencil tucky oh, somewhere. Oh, she's a hillbilly. Yeah, or... and because I sang country music when it wasn't cool, yeah. um, they'd, they'd call, they'd say, ah, oh, when I came in, they'd say, aha, here she comes, Pencil Tucky, yodelist one, you know. And when I finally grew up there again, I decided, you know, I hated the term for a long time, but then I decided that I liked it. I liked being from there. I liked being from the country. So what, what prompted the uh, state of Pennsylvania to finally get around to you? Well, Ron Harmon, uh, who is a new friend of mine up there now, has followed my career for a long time, and uh, he is in banking and was always kind of proud of the fact that, that I was in banking up there and took an interest in my career. So I think he got the... You were the, in banking? Yeah. It was my, I went to night school at the American Institute of Banking. I didn't know that. Yeah. And when, that was my first job, was in banking. But anyway, he kind of touched base with all these people and told them it was my 25th anniversary at the Grand Ole Opry and I, they, maybe we should do something in my home when state. When was your anniversary? Uh, September 19th. I oh. celebrated my 25th. This yeah. past September? Uh-huh. Oh, well, Which, you know, tw you know, a silver anniversary is so special and I'm so glad the relationship with the Grand Ole Opry worked out because I knew about 12 years into my marriage there wasn't going to be a silver anniversary there. So. <laughs> So I'm well, I'm glad, I'm glad you were able to find one in your life anyway. 